welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Senna. This is going to be a Sand Soldier deck. This one is going to have all sorts of Sand Soldier cards. We got Dune Keeper, the Emperor's Dies, of course, and Azir, obviously. But then we're going to be playing, we're going, you know, real hard in the Sand Soldiers because we got Desert Wraths in here um, that are going to be a four mana. You get two Sand Soldiers and even Shifting Sands, this card that actually haven't played in any deck before but six mana slow speed deal four to a unit and you get your two sand soldiers but we wanted to not have this be s slow speed and so the person that made this deck because it's it's donation deck week um they wanted to combine that shifting sands with senna so we're gonna have senna in here uh that's gonna be able to make our um our damage and kill spells fast and so we can make fast speed shifting sands so that could be kind of cool so we're gonna, you know, just kind of put those together, see what happens there. I think Siphoning Strike will still be slow with Senna, but not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure it'll still be slow. But we're just gonna try it out. Maybe who knows? Um, but we're, you know, basically mono Sharima because of uh, all the Sand Soldier stuff. Sharima, we're just splashing Senna. So we have Golden Ambassadors in here to help us find our champions because, as y'all know, champions are good. And so they'll be drawing our Azir and our Senna's making them larger this curves out pretty well with senna you know making you know you can play ambassador on four go grab a six six senna on five now you got a six six quick attack pretty cool little uh combo there we, we don't have that many units in our deck so we're gonna have xenotype researchers we're a little light on units considering uh we have all these spells that make sand soldiers and stuff so xenotype researchers is going to be our three drop um especially if xenotype researchers can hit some champions and then we draw them from golden ambassador or rider calling Ride of Calling turns into Fast Speed with Senna, so that's really cool. Uh, where where you can, you know, attack, put a Sand Soldier into play that's attacking, and then kill it during combat and go grab a champion. And that's kind of about it. That's that's basically what our deck's doing. We'll have Sandcrafter attack, make some Sand Soldiers. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all about it. So let's go and get to it. Let's go ahead and try Azir Senna. And we'll have Senna Sand Soldiers. I like the sand. I think okay, so we're definitely keeping the first the first three cards. It's the ruthless predator. I kind of think I want to keep that in this kind of matchup, like where combat's going to matter a lot. Maybe like this is a, a cool card with sand soldiers, ooh, or like with dune keeper. Um, let's go ahead and because we're going to be curving out, so I know we don't get the, like this sand soldier attack right here. But that could let us attack here and put another Sand Soldier into play attacking. Especially if they pass. You best okay. I don't play. Gonna attack that. Let's make cookies. Really? Mama's home. Oh man, they're gonna have a lot of free owl cats. A lot of hungry, hungry owl cats. Um. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. I just know the heroes around hmm. here somewhere. Guess I should have ruthless predator. See what we see, soldiers. I was thinking that it was going to be difficult for us to level up Azir, but we're doing a pretty good job of it so far. But. It, we're also, you know, we've gotten double Dune Keeper, and the Semperus dies. Bask in the sunlight. I was hoping that whatever we hit, you know, we've gotten a bunch of these. Uh, plus three, plus threes. I was hoping that we would draw a champion that would have that. Okay. Three, two. Three, three. Make ourselves pretty big. That's not tamper proof. No. Let's just do this for now. Oh, 
one ghost down, thousands to go. So unfortunately this costs three mana, we only have two. For shooting Poppy. My shield is yours. Man, and then they have that. I, mean, I guess I could take out one of these Bandle Commandos, but Man, that's not good. The Emperor commands the land obey. Attack there, right there, then open attack, and we are dead. All right, good game, Poppy. Yeah, we had a really good hand for our deck, but two of those uh, elusives and then Poppy was just a little too strong for us. I think we're a meme tier deck for a reason. Now, round four, I could have not tapped under Ruthless Predator, I guess. So, you know, this is a curious Shell Folk deck. That's the thing about Sharima, right? Sharima can't really kill stuff very well. Really struggles killing champions like Poppy, and which is why it's, you know, why it's not the best region. I think when you're playing Xenotype Researchers, you always want to get it down as early as possible to just give you a higher chance of drawing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass here and have them waste all their mana and just, you know, have this be the board and go on to the next round. These dunes are the lifeblood of Sharima. Hmm. I really... Kind of wasting a lot of mana over there. Tildover Enforcer on the scene. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. So Senna also gives me the um, the Senna Champion spell for this, because like if they go. You know, like, prank, prank, now you're looking at, like, a 6-4, like, some other burst spell, now it's a 7. To be able to challenge, we can, uh, Dawning Shadow. They probably don't stop that. Dawning Shadow's safer, but I also like getting this out of my hand before pranks. Oh, they can't stop that. Oh, I should have gone Dawning Shadow. Wow. I forgot about that card. I didn't think about that card. Wow, what a killer. Now we don't have the Dawning Shadow anymore. Oh, man. That one hurts. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Now they're gonna, yeah, that th that hurts. I, I that's too greedy by me. I should just kill the shell folk. Making our sand soldiers bigger now. Uh, that was the created card by Conchologist. All right, well, Shuffle could do some crazy, crazy stuff. I had to kill it last round. If I would have killed it with the Senna, they still kill my Senna with their Vi. <laughs> Easy 
does it. Well, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. It was looking so good whenever I cast that Siphoning Strike, but that, um, you know, that three mana turned something into a 1-6. What a card. Alright, we are 0-2. Okay, we got a better chance here. Demo Elise, this this deck's a little bit more on our um, on par for what we're doing. about keeping Ruthless Predator to try to kill a Teemo, but also thought that that would take a very long time for that to happen. Um, I'm thinking we're just going to save Spellman instead of drawing two. They're going to help me draw those extra cards anyway. All right, gonna have weighted judgment. Try to take down Teemo. Where are you? Hope that works. My attack now doesn't look that good after they played the aristocrat. All right, got rid of a Teemo. That's good. Man, that's the thing about playing Senna is it's stuck with more cards in hand. I'm glad I didn't play the Preservarium right now. Excuse us, that's not tamper proof. Definitely don't want to take any damage. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. When crime calls, a big flower is proper. Alright, well that's the last veteran investigator. So that's good news there, but man, we have all of our card draw. <laughs> yeah. Draw a card, draw a card, create a card, draw a card. Nope. Draw a card. Create a card, draw a card. I'd raise a thousand soldiers to fight for Sharima. Empires are built on ambition and servitude. So planning on playing this and Ruthless Predator. Shurima. We want to get cards out of our hand. And so I have... I have the 3 2 block it. Then it goes down to 2 health. Yeah, this is a, such a bad waste of Ruthless Predator, but otherwise, we're burning another card. I guess we're burning another card. Yeah, because they're just going to do that anyway, so I'll just be wasting 2 mana and wasting a card. So we'll still waste the card either way, but Ruthless Predator could be valuable against Puffcat Peddlers. Let's keep the mana. That card's cheap. Oh! We draw, though, 2-1 and lose the 5-4. now. <laughs> Got 
They just have every go hard in their deck. Back to nine cards still. <laughs> Come on, I cannot get cards out of my hand. It's crazy. All three Preservariums, all three Golden Ambassadors. Our only cards that, and then, you know, like, all these things that create, our only things that, like, create cards, we've drawn all of them. I can't get cards out of my hand. We're burning all of our best stuff. I needed that, Azir. Ready to fire. I don't imagine this is going to go too well for me. Assuming they have just one more go hard, and then to pack your bags, and then we're dead. Alright, good hand opponent. Hexcore Foundry. What a card. Turn it against them. Every card Xenotype Researchers hit, we have burned. Besides the Senna. Man. This is getting Hexcore Foundried. Yeah, all the all these other cards that don't create stuff. Been good to have. So we know that they have pack your bags, and we know that like they're passing here so that I play other stuff, and then they pa then they cast pack your bags. I'm at 15 cards left. They're at 17 cards left. I would yeah, I would expect them to be playing aloof travelers. I don't know why they wouldn't. We haven't they haven't cast aloof travelers, but. I expect them to have it. There's just no options. Come on, we're on the clock. Spirits ain't gonna free themselves. Loss is nothing new. Keep moving. There's just no options there. So we need like some landmark destruction, I guess, because you know that foundry just won that game by itself. Well, with everything else, I guess not necessarily just by itself. Okay. Anyway, let's keep. So, I'm keeping Shifting Sands because it does four to a unit. That means it can kill uh, the champions. Four damage is a really big, important number. We're going to keep Siphoning Strike again to try to kill those champions because their champions are what make their deck go. It'd be nice to have two mana for Ruthless better right now also, but that's okay. Azir. Jerima, my empire, my heart. Our prosperity and loyalty belongs to you. Well, 
Can't even hourglass to save. Let's just pass and save three spell mana. <laughs> oh, we are getting death by landmarks today. Death by landmarks. So I kind of like doing this while we know it's going to work. As long as they don't have another mini morph, you know, I have Hourglass to protect other stuff. I also kind of like Hourglass protecting this. Because that means they don't get the darkness damage for leveling up the one champion. They don't, like, it it fizzles so they don't get to create another darkness from Catalog of Regrets. We have a surprising amount of card draw. Shirima, my empire, my heart. Our prosperity and loyalty belongs to you. Turn it against them. All right, so you're at nine. Not gonna let them get a good block in, like a block that they want. All right, cool. That's 19 damage. Good job, ruthless predator. And then we had those golden ambassadors who's drawing super big champs. Done. Back to and we got to win. But that's pretty good. Our little meme tier sand soldier deck got to win against darkness control. You know, Darkness Control, one of the most popular decks, so that's pretty sweet. Alright, we're keeping Doomkeeper, Dias, Dias. We're keeping that. Preservarium, I could see... Keep or not keep. Let's go not keep. We're gonna want to be doing all this other stuff early. The Emperor commands. The lands obey. Cool. Worked out. And now we have Desert's Wrath next round. Let's get lots of Sand Soldiers. We can have that thing die. We're gonna need room anyway. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I think we will just save our spell mana. Now we have six. We could shifting sands. 
kill a Waste Walker. And then get two Sand Soldiers. Oh, that's Golden Ambassador. That's what I'm talking about. Get a nice Azir. So we're at 8. So 9, 10. So I don't, I don't want to block either of these. I don't want either of them dying and getting them the uh, landmark they want. That's 11. I guess there's not really any reason not to attack with a zero, also. I guess. Whatever just gives them like more blocks of things they want to block with. The order is given. Sharima is send in sky. Past and present. Alright, there we go. Yeah, good Azir level, plus it has that plus two plus two, so it has eight health. This game is what we were hoping our deck would be doing. This is a Sand Soldier game right here. Alright, they're down to four. And yeah, those things will grow. If I play something, you know, it gets the vulnerable, but that also gives plus one, plus one to each one of these waste walkers. trouble. Waste walkers are big, so you know this is gonna be a 6-4 and a 5-5. Five five, and then three other attackers. The world in the a desert to bury our foes. Okay. So even though that's that's just not very much overwhelm damage, that's not too too bad. Cause that's like no overwhelm damage. So this puts us down to one. Keeps my Azir alive. No, the Absolver. Wait. Okay, they didn't kill me. Gently, gently. <laughs> I thought they were gonna kill me, but they didn't. Deal four, get two sand soldiers. First time ever casting this card in my life. I mean, if that's the best they had, I might as well play this before attacking. If that was the best they had. Because this thing's lethal by itself. Yeah, we got there! that shifting sands first time ever casting that card the old one hp win they had they could have killed me by using the absolver they wanted to kill azir instead and made him pay with having shifting sands deal four get two sand soldiers so okay got to do some cool sand soldier stuff those last couple of games and kind of show off uh, gold ambassador also getting some big champions and like big azir um, you know, Zier as a 3-7 is, you know, that's a real card. You know, 3 mana, 3-7. That's pretty big. And so we got to show that off. 
Um, so there we go. You know, Sharima still missing. Really good interaction. We saw that in some of our earlier games, and we saw like some of those earlier games we were playing against better decks, uh, some of the top decks in the format. And we showed it uh, how we can struggle there uh, against those. But you know, if if they're not killing you too quickly, then you you can do some cool stuff with Sharima. You got good card advantage with Sharima, and you have good size, and you have good attackers. You know, good threats, stuff like that. So as long as they're not, and then, you know, uh, having the all the sand soldiers coming in, those are definitely very good threats. So as long as they don't kill you too quickly, you can have some success with Shorima. All right, so that's Azir Senna. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all like this one for a meme tier deck. If you got uh, other deck ideas for meme tier decks or regular rank decks, of course, always let me know in the comment section. We got lots of viewer submitted donation decks to get through this week uh, and that's what we're going to be doing all week so hopefully you'll see some you'll see some really unique decks hopefully y'all will enjoy them but that's going to be it here for azir senna so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video